everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you my delicious recipe for a Guyanese pepper pot. Now this is a Guyanese tradition. Every Christmas morning we would usually have our pepper pot with homemade bread. And here are the ingredients that you're going to need for this dish. Here I have some beef already washed and cleaned. I have here some cow foot or cow heel. I have some calves rib, some green seasoning. This has everything in it. It has onion, garlic, ginger, thyme and some other stuff. I have here some brown sugar, some orange peel, cinnamon sticks and cloves. I have some thyme here and a hot pepper. I have some maggi cubes some black pepper, complete seasoning, and seasoning salt. Now let's get started with this recipe. Starting with clean hands, we are going to season our meat. Starting with our green seasoning. Black pepper. Maggi cubes. complete seasoning and seasoning salt. We're going to mix this in well. And we're going to set this aside. Now we'll season our cow foot starting with the green seasoning black pepper maggi cubes complete seasoning and seasoning salt mix this in well And we're going to let this sit and marinate for about two hours before we get started. So now we'll begin to pressure our cow heel or cow foot. And remember guys, everyone cooks different. There are many variations and techniques people use when they cook pepper pot. This is just my way. It has never failed me yet. I get a lot of compliments from this recipe. And if you want, you could try it or you could go with the one that you know. So I'm adding here my um, cas rip and my spices and stuff. Cloves. And I will add my thyme. Because I like... For my um, cow heel and stuff to have that rich cow's rib taste from jump. I don't want to add it in last or add it in, in the middle. I add it in from the beginning. So this will take anywhere from 2 to 3 hours to cook. To get tender. And I will let this get tender and then I'll be back with you guys to show you the next step. So while my cow heel is pressuring, I'm going to go ahead and brown my beef. I'm going to let this fry and let it release those juices. So after about 15 minutes, this is how my beef is looking. I will now set this aside until I'm ready for it later. So after about an hour, I'm checking my meat and if you look closely, you can see some oil settling at the top there. What you want to do is scoop that off and discard it. 
that's the fat from the cow heel so you want to discard that nobody wants to eat oily pepper pot so you want to throw away the oil that you see settling at the top and then we'll proceed with the next step of this dish so what I've noticed here is the meat has separated from the bones so what I'll do is discard all my bones I will throw them out and then I will put the lid back on here and allow this meat to become tender for 30 more minutes because the meat hasn't been completed as yet now that my meat is completely tender I will begin to add my beef that I browned earlier to this and the rest of my ingredients my orange peel I will add some more uh, cas rip to this because I like that dark rich cas rip color I will also add a little bit of sugar to this just to balance out all the, the flavors and stuff like that and I will set the lid back on and let this go for about an hour now that all my meat is completely soft, I've transferred everything to the stove and I will begin to add the finishing touches. I'll add a cube, some more thyme. You guys notice I love thyme. And I will now add my pepper because my family do not eat a lot of spicy food. So this pepper is basically for me. I do not want it to pop in here. So I will just allow it to, you know, the meat and stuff to absorb the pepper flavor. And I will let this simmer for about 30 minutes, allowing everything to marry. Okay guys, so this is the finished product of my pepper pot. I will be having this with some homemade, freshly baked bread. If you guys enjoy this video, you can give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.